Hey guys, Lewis here from thelanguagescientist.com and in today's video I'm going to talk about the best apps to learn Spanish. Now, first of all, before we begin, I'm going to talk about three apps uh, specifically that I think are the most effective and the most efficient for people trying to learn Spanish to get up to a conversationally fluent level. I have included links to those apps in the description if you want to get like uh, discounts, if you want to subscribe to them, uh, their special offers, uh, if you click the links in the description. Now, the three apps I'm going to talk about are number one, Rocket Spanish, number two is going to be Spanish Pod 101, and number three is going to be Pimsleur Spanish, which is much more uh, well known. Now, I'm going to use my experience as a language learner. So I had to learn, you know, English, for example. This is not my native language. Um, my native language is French. I had to learn English on my own. So I know what it takes to actually learn a language to a pretty high level. All right, so let me first talk about Rocket Spanish here. Now, the reason why I chose Rocket Spanish is because Rocket Spanish is one of the most comprehensive uh, courses on the internet for learning Spanish. Now, you know how nowadays, you know, online tools, they focus a lot on like, you know, drills and, uh, you know, like making you repeat stuff. And my point is that I think a lot of people are disgusted with the, you know, school system where you like learn grammar and do exercises and so on. So a lot of tools online, they actually focus on the opposite. It's just about like uh, showing you the actual language and doing drills with it and not a lot of grammar. Well. There is value in doing grammar and Rocket Spanish actually recognizes that. So that's why in Rocket Spanish, you are actually going to get 50% of like actual, you know, conversations that you can participate in. So these are the like interactive audio lessons. You're going to be listening to a conversation and actually participating as one of the characters. So this is like the, the part where you'd learn to actually speak in, 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 in Spanish, which is great. And the second part is going to be the grammar. There are extensive grammar lessons, which are still much more digestible than the, you know, like textbook sort of uh, grammar lessons and so all of this is going to is included in the program now in addition to this rocket Spanish has so many lessons that you have an entire program for self-study for about I would say you know six months at an average rate oh, sorry about that I think yeah I think it's my cat doing stuff but uh, yeah in six months you can get to a conversationally uh, conversationally fluent level in Spanish all right, let me talk about the second app here, which is SpanishPod101.com. SpanishPod101.com is not that well known, but it's one of the most valuable tools for learning Spanish. And this is because it has hundreds of lessons, if not thousands, I don't know, but it has lessons that are centered, they're basically like, like uh, podcasts. So that's why it's called you know, SpanishPod101, SpanishPodcast101.com. Every single lesson is going to be about 15 to 25 minutes of a podcast in Spanish. Now, there's going to be some English to explain some of the concepts to you, but as you get through the levels, when you get to the intermediate stage, pretty much all of the stuff is going to be like, uh, for the most part, like 80, 90%, it's going to be in Spanish. So you're listening to, on average, 20 minutes of actual Spanish speakers actually speak in Spanish and... Uh, you know, by listening to that many hours, hundreds, if not thousands of hours of podcasts in Spanish, there's no way that you're not going to reach a conversational level in Spanish. So I think this is the main selling point of, uh, of Spanish Pod 101. It's the quantity of content. And of course, it's not just conversations. You're actually going to be presented with, uh, you know, grammar information and vocabulary and all of these kinds of things. All right, so now let me move on to the third app, which I think is extremely valuable for uh, learning Spanish, and it is Pimsleur Spanish. And I think a lot of people like to hate on Pimsleur, but they don't realize they haven't been through the process of actually using Pimsleur Spanish. So Pimsleur Spanish is all about audio lessons here, and there is the mobile app version as well. But uh, every single day for five months, you're going to be doing an audio lesson for 30 minutes the the selling point the main reason why i chose pimsleur spanish here is because pimsleur spanish is centered around space repetition which is one of the most important principles in uh, language learning so essentially your you know the conversations that are presented to you present certain vocabulary words and uh, grammar structures 
in at certain points in time at certain strategic points in time so that all of the information that you're presented with you're actually going to remember it in the long term and this is huge because i have tons of people who actually come to my channel and they leave comments every well i'm not going to say every single day but i have these comments pretty often saying hey I finished uh, the Pimsleur Spanish program or the Pimsleur Japanese program and now I can have actual conversations with people in Spanish and Japanese and you know in French and, and so on. And so the lessons that you're going to get in Pimsleur are highly memorable and highly functional. You're going to be presented with stuff that you're going to remember and you're going to be able to speak with people at the end of the program. So once again, I have included a link to all of those programs and you know discounts um, in the description of this video if you want to find out uh, how much uh, this is going to cost you with the discount. So click on the links in the description and that's pretty much it. I'll see you next time.